Alright, so I got back from training, grinding and stuff. Everybody gained a few levels. My team, my levels, got some new equipment for everybody. So, yeah. There you go. Everybody's healed up, ready to go. Let us go! So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology. The Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crema began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Intelakea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelakea. Probably didn't talk much. There may have been other reasons, though. Still, we don't know what this story has to do with our Judith here. Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait! You mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes. At Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention... The Sarah's Blastia on the Fiertia. So then, you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelakea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here, but out. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil. And the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelakea aren't evil! They were fighting to save the world! Don't let them fool you with that Credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice! Judith, not your party. Please form a party with Judith as a member. Yee. Yeah. Um, sorry, Rita. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have Carol in the party. So, anyway, Judith, anything of you that kind of want? Blue Talisman is physical defense, better than some cheap armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Um, not what I had planned, but let's go. should be killed! That's the rule of the Hunting Blades! He's not a monster! He's Judith! Aiding monsters is punishable by death! The fellow's different! He wouldn't just go around hurting people for no reason! What are you talking about? 
out. Of course he would. You're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me for what happens. Alright, is everybody done? Alright, so fight against Tyson and Nan. Uh, yeah. I am going to put everybody on to defend because uh, this secret mission can be kind of annoying. You have to wait until both Tyson and Nan stick their uh, blades into the ground. So, yeah, this could be kind of annoying. Ow, my face. And hopefully I can... I have enough items to heal myself and all that. I did go back to the store and stock up on life bottles and... Really? Nobody's gonna go after... Friggin... Alright, whatever. Don't you dare go after my friggin' healer. They are crazy. They can pretty much kick your butt if you're not careful. So, yeah. Um, really, everybody needs to go on the freaking healing. Go on the healing. It'd be easier if they freaking did their move to where they stuck their blades in the ground and that way we can go on with our merry little lives and stuff. Yeah. Really? Really? That's... That was... fun. Let's see, I already got Tyson. Let's go ahead and magic lens Nan while we're at it. There you go. Nan's the weaker one of the two, so uh, I'd figure going after Tyson first. Hey, don't you dare go after my freaking healer. Uh, life bottle, where did you run off to? Come on. Really? You need to freaking... Come on, stick your blade into the ground. Ow, my face. My face is going to die. <laughs> I am out of apple gels. Really? Uh, that was. There you go, there's that one. So now we could get Tyson out of the way. And he's. Yeah, we could go after Tyson. So let's go after Tyson. Come on. Oh, I was trying to do a burst, burst art there. Uh, Alright. This is very dangerous. Yes, I can tell it's very dangerous. Alright, let's see what is what I have is a freaking There we go, altered art. Uh, wait, really? Did you really do that to me? Why? Uh. All right, come on. Come on. Do it. First art. Oh, come on. Yeah. Screw you and your too many arts. I am going to go and do whatever I need to do in order to actually kill them. 
Don't. Uh, really? As soon as I get one of these guys down. All right, cool. Come on, Nan, get your blade into the ground. That way I can go and kill you. I will be surprised if I do this this time around on my first time. Come on. After me. And, yeah, it's getting there. Come on. Come on, Nan. Alright, so... First off, you need to heal yourself. And let's go ahead and edit this so that Judith will defend and keep distance. I just need... That's what I need. That's what I needed. That is what I needed. Come on. Come on. Quit friggin' healing your... or quit casting. Quit casting. Hurry up. Nan. Really, Tyson? Where the hell did you come from, buddy? Where the hell did you come from, buddy? I thought I killed you. I thought I killed you, buddy. Wow. Maybe... Maybe Nan has a freaking healing thing that I don't know about. Damn, that hurt. Shall I heal that you? doesn't hurt. Come on. Do your freaking thing so we can get this over with. All right, well, now you can do whatever the hell you want. There we go. <laughs> All right. That is the secret mission. And so now, after she gets out of her over limit, and you still need to friggin' Where is it? Yeah, I am so glad I went to the freaking store uh, and uh, stocked up on. Really, really. Come on, life bottle. Thank you. And first art. Die. Oh, I could have done another burst start there, but no. There you go. Yeah, I know I'm spamming it, but that's what you get. You don't show mercy to your enemies. I will protect Baiwol. And, uh, yeah, secret mission number 12, Nan and Tyson. Time to strikes between their attacks and knock them down. Kind of not... It's not as descriptive as the others. You have to wait until their blades are sticking into the ground, but, eh, there you go. Anyway, a lot of stuff. I did it! I just keep getting stronger! Nan, I'm sorry. All right, so the meaning of monsters. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... 
That sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder... It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Hmm, I think that... I can't remember what, <laughs> what you need in order to trigger that one. Anyway, Baul, where we need to go is in there. But first, before we go off in there, go off to the left and uh, see if there's any more treasure chests in this area. All this fun stuff, so... Go for it! Yeah, we're done with all the boss fights for the time being, and so... I think we're gonna stop off in the town afterwards, get to a decent save point. And I'll go ahead and call this a freaking recording session. But that's not until a little bit later. Um, oh yeah, treasure chest. How are you doing, buddy? Get ready. I'm taking you down. Oh, and also more magic lenses. There you go. Axe Eagle. Axe Eagle! And then magic lens on. Oh, yeah, I already got you. I didn't think I got you, Mr. Tree Man. Tree Ant. Quit running your face into my face. That is very annoying, you know that. Uh, but I am so glad I got that secret mission out of the way. Not the hardest secret mission, but one of the more annoying ones. Easy. Yes, that was. Ever blue. Which reminds me. Rita, you need another thing. Uh, we'll do the river belt right now for you. We'll do that one. And everybody else. Except for Raven. I still haven't got Raven his thing that, uh, a no, new weapon for him. Yeah. And he's the one that I'm most worried about in getting his skills. Because... There is a side quest with Raven, and he needs at least 100 skills in order to do, in order to complete that side quest. I mean, it's not until the very end of the game, mind you, that we would be able to turn it in anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. But I just don't want to have a big, huge grind fest at the end of the game with me just trying to go and get Raven all of his skills. Here we go. So. so the more skills that I can get Raven now while I'm sitting here fighting because of storyline stuff, the better. La uh, less work that I need to do in the future. So. Oh well, but we'll just wait until we can do that at a later time. Go for it. I'm just getting started. Or not. One of the two. Treasure! What do we get? Feather coat. New armor piece. For female characters, I think. Every uh Estelle, Rita, and Judith can wear it, I believe. Could be wrong, don't quote me on it. Anyway, Baul, how are you doing?